Good morning, everybody. Uh, thank you for your such a kind in, uh, introduction. Uh, yes, Beato, but in a trouble, uh, since I try to push back uh, this uh, very nice invitation to say why, why I should speak. I see 11 men in the room, if we exclude the photographers, uh, but I'm, I'm on the only one taking uh, the floor in the various uh, panels. And when I got the, this invitation, I say, perhaps I'm, I will be a fish out of the water. But then, thanks to the insistence of um, Alessia Centioni, I realized that I'm here to shortly represent an area where, since the very start, uh, benefited and still benefit from, uh, let's say, the experience by, by, by women. And I will start by making reference to data protection ex expertise. Uh, if I look to, for instance, my office, I, I will go immediately to this point, but also to now the new generation of uh, data protection officers uh, currently under recruitment in uh, all member states. I see that data protection is increasingly getting women, and uh, there is a lot of professionality on, uh, on IT, and this is a circumstance which um, reassure me and, and you <coughs> a lot. And just to give you an example, I try to lead by example and to translate uh, this trend into, into practice. If I look to my office, for instance, the majority, the large majority of managers in my institution is women, and not only staff, also middle manager and, and, and senior manager. So we have a very... Um, professional uh, colleagues with a solid uh, background and, and determination. So um, thank you once again for insisting in uh, inviting uh, me. And I will not uh, take it for granted that I'm the only one admitted to uh, speak about the debate. You mentioned it the, um, the day one, 25th of May, recently, the day when um, one of the best uh, and, and prominent pieces of legislation around the world entered into full uh, application. It appears to be a law for uh, experts, but actually there is a worldwide debate and, and currently 128 countries in the world are dealing with a similar piece of legislation which is considered general data protection regulation is uh, mentioned with the acronym GDPR. And therefore, experts are saying that these other laws are to be considered as GDPR-like or gdpr light. And this regulation, um, first of all, compensates the technological uh, gap. And it aims to, uh, let's say, reinforce the fundamental rights to privacy and data protection. You may say why this is relevant for today's debate, because one of the pillars of this regulation is around uh, discrimination. And discrimination started to be regulated in the 70s with the Convention 108 uh, adopted in, by the Council of Europe in 1981 with particular regard to religion, um, sexual orientation, uh, political beliefs, um, ethical and, and racial uh, implications. But currently, we, we see that um, the world we, we are now entering into artificial intelligence, big, big data, machine learning, automatic vehicles, would be based, uh, unless we, we have soon uh, a, a large debate on uh, values, on discrimination, which may also be that we'll make some examples, perhaps, in, in the next round of, of, of questions, on uh, let's say, different uh, positions by women and, uh, and men. So in our conference, you, you mentioned that we would like to give concrete examples now, because this is the moment for, to orient uh, the development of new technologies. We will explore how technologies will impact soon our lives, and we would like to see how uh, the, there is a chance to positively orient the design and, and application. So please consider that when we deal with factual recognition, biometric, uh, micro-targeting, uh, including those concerning electoral campaigns, tracking and surveillance, digital uh, monopolies, uh, biases in algorithms, we are not only referring to consumers, 
users, subscribers, so data subject considered as, as a whole. Uh, if you allow me in, in the second round of questions, I will give you some specific examples to say that digital uh, ethics is an issue for, uh, let's say, today's debate particularly. 